Hola Panteras, Miss Hardy here. Today I'm going to show you how to do two different art projects. The first art project is a leaf printing project where I will show you how to transfer the image of the leaf onto paper using markers. So that's the first one. The second project is a leaf rubbing project and I will show you how to use leaves underneath your paper and a crayon to expose all the details of the leaves. So the shape, the stems, and the veins in the leaf. So I have these two projects to show you today. I hope that you guys can do these at home and I'd love to see what you create. Okay, so this one is the leaf rubbing with crayon and this work is the leaf print with marker. So first I'm gonna show you the one with the marker. Okay, so let's do our leaf print with markers. First, I'm gonna need paper, markers, and leaves. So paper, here's some markers. I have a bunch of colored markers here. If you don't have markers, you can use a highlighter. You could also use paint if you have that. And then you're going to need an assortment of leaves. So these are just different leaves that I've found outside my house. Um, anything will really do, even if they're, these aren't dried leaves, but dried leaves would work. You're also going to need this for your next project as well. So here's my paper. You can keep it big if you want to. I am going to actually cut it in half. So a couple different ways to do that is I can just Take my paper, fold it, and actually cut it in half. Open it back up. And actually cut it in half, following the center crease that I made. So there's that, that's one way. Then the other way that I can have my paper is actually folding it in half here where my lines meet. Press down the center, and I did this last week too for the sketchbooks. So if you don't have scissors, open it up. I like to flip it over, fold it, and press again, and then open my paper up, and then hold down with one hand and pull away with your other hand. Okay, so now I have more paper I can use. Okay, so now that I have my paper, I'm going to choose some colored markers. So for this one, let's see, I'll do orange and green for the first leaf. And then I also need a scrap piece of paper that I'm going to use the markers to color onto the leaves. So here's a scrap piece of paper that I'm going to use. All right, and now I get to pick my leaves. Hmm, let's see, I'm gonna pick this one to use. I'm going to also choose this leaf, and I'm going to actually use markers on the side where I can see the stem and on the details of my leaf. So we're basically going to use the ink in the markers to transfer the image of the leaf. So printing is transferring, you're transferring an image. And in this case, we're going to use the veins and the stem and the shape of the leaf and transfer the image. So let's start with this leaf. So I'm going to uncap my marker and I'm going to just color all over filling in my whole entire, whatever side I want. I could do stripes or something like that. In this case, I'm actually gonna fill it in solid. So I'm filling in the whole entire right side of the leaf, but you could do a different color. You could do a design. You could do rainbow. Okay, there's that. And now I'm going to do orange on this side. Actually gonna turn this around, hold on. And notice this is exactly why I have this paper here. So if something like that happens where the leaf moves, then 
the ink doesn't get all over my table. It can just get on my scratch piece of paper. Okay, this looks pretty good. It's all filled in, cap your marker. And then I'm going to take my paper, my good piece of paper, the one that I want to use to print on, take my leaf. I'm going to turn it over and then figure out where you want it to go. I'm gonna put this one down here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is press. So I'm not gonna move the leaf yet, I'm just pressing on top, applying pressure. And then when I think I've applied pressure over the entire leaf, I can take it by the stem and lift it up. And you can see now I have a print and you can see that all the marker here was transferred that I applied on my leaf is transferred on my paper. Okay, so that's one. Let's try one more. I'm going to use this time purple and blue. So I have the back of, here's the front of my leaf, the back. Probably helps to put your cap on the back of your marker. Color in. This one colors in, this leaf is coloring pretty nicely. Okay. Cap back on. Oop, there we go. Filling it in. I put my finger right here, so I'm actually gonna go back over it, okay. Now I'm gonna turn my leaf over. Let's go like this. Put my leaf down and press. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. I haven't, I hadn't tried this leaf yet. You can still see that there's actually some marker left on this leaf, so maybe I could get another print out of this. Let's just try it. Yeah, a little bit more, not as much, but this is how you print. You can do lots of different variations of this, but this is how you would print using leaves and markers. And like I said, again, you could use paint or something like that. You can even try to print in your sketchbook. This is the one that I made last week, so I could even try, and I'm gonna try and print in here too. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do some texture rubbings with the leaves. So, this means you're going over something that's raised, and in this case, the leaves have a raised veins and stem, um, which is going to create texture, and I'm going to use crayons to rub over the leaves, and then we will see the images appear. So what you'll need for this is some paper. You'll need crayons. You can also use, if you don't have crayons, you can use a pencil. Just make sure it's not super sharp and that you're going to use the side of the pencil, not um, as if you were writing, but actually the side so you don't poke through the paper. And then you're going to need an assortment of leaves. So I'm gonna collect some leaves here. And then what I'm going to do actually is arrange the leaves underneath my paper. So just arrange them any way you like. It's pretty good. And then cover them. So you wanna make sure if this is like poking out here, well actually you could have a leaf going off the paper if you want, but I wanna make sure that they're all, all underneath. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is pick a color. I actually chose darker colors because I found that, at least on camera, you could actually see the details better with darker colored crayons, but you choose what you want. And then what I'm going to do is hold my paper, hold my crayon, hold it to the side. So not as if you're writing, hold it to the side. 
and I'm going to use my crayon and go with a rubbing motion back and forth over my leaves. And you can see that they are appearing. So this is pretty fun. It kind of almost like feels like a magic trick. see I know I have a couple more over here here's another one that we can expose look at all the detail wow I can see the edge of this leaf how it's kind of zigzaggy I can see these stems and all the veins I know I have one leaf more leaf there cool and then what you can do too now that I have one color what I could do too is I noticed there's some spaces here, so I could actually move some of my leaves a little bit. So underneath here, and then go over, let's go over with another color. So let's go over with this darker color. So you can layer layer the colors. Pretty cool. Oh, you know what I want to try? I want to do this in my sketchbook too. So this is one was the one that I, so here's my final one. I could add even more colors. I'd like to try it on this one. I'm going to use a little bit of a bigger leaf. Put it down, turn my paper. Let's use a blue. to see it maybe another color this paper oh okay that helps you can kind of see it there okay well send me photos of what you guys do I'd love to see if you do some of the leaf rubbings or I'd love to see if you do a print if you do one or both or if you have any other creative ideas um, that have inspired you from this project.